In this video, we are going to go over how to add rollover captions to our electronic lecture. Munira tells you how. So we are back in our Captivate project. The first thing to do will be adding a new blank slide. For this one, I want to use a custom image background. From the Properties panel, I will select Custom from the Background drop-down menu. From the Solid menu, I will select Image. To select the image of my choice, I will click on Slide Color and click on the Folder icon. Images that I'm currently using in this project display on this window, but I need to import a new one from my PC libraries. Once selected, I will have the option to edit the image. I could change the brightness, size, and color properties. I have some notes for my project in a Word document, and I want to transfer these concepts to my slide using rollover captions. So let's work on the first one by adding a text caption. From the Quick Access toolbar, I select Text Caption from the text drop-down. To modify the text properties, I will click outside and then inside the caption to select it. So let's place it on the left upper corner of our slide. I will type the word what, select the caption, and from the properties panel, change the color to blue, font to Arial, and size to 72. I want the slide to display the concept associated to the word what um, when the student hovers over it. So to do that, I will go to the quick access toolbar and click on objects to select rollover caption. As you can see that now we have a rollover area and a text box. I will place the rollover area on top of the word what. Next, I will place and resize the caption text box right beneath the word what, where I want it to display. So let's work some more on the rollover area. By selecting it, I will name it on the properties panel. I want it to be completely transparent, so I will change the opacity and the stroke width to zero. Coming back to my Word document, I will copy the correspondent paragraph and paste it into the caption text box. I don't want to keep the format from the Word document for this text piece, so I will select No from this window. I click Outside and Inside to select it, and I'm ready to change the color to black from the Properties panel. As always, remember that it's important to name your elements, so I will name this element. Let's change the font to Arial. I don't want this caption to be transparent, so from the Caption Type section, I will select Adobe Blue. You can choose the shape of the caption from the call-up menu. I'm choosing the square one. To make this caption stand out a little bit more, I add an outer shadow from the Properties panel. The blur, opacity and distance of the shadow can be modified. I will increase the shadow distance from 3 to 10. Now I want the word what and the rollover caption beneath to be perfectly aligned. So I need to move out the rollover area first. Then, I will select both captions by holding Shift and clicking on each one of them. From the Captivate toolbar, I select Window and choose Align. I can hover over each icon to explore my options. I will select the Align center one. Let's reposition the rollover area on top of the word What? We highly recommend to always save the changes to your project as frequently as you can. So 
So let's check our progress by previewing the next five slides. It looks good, perfect. So all we have to do is duplicating our first section. Select a wide area that includes the three elements we just created. To duplicate, you can right click and select duplicate or use Ctrl plus D. I want to call your attention to the green smart guidelines that appear when I reposition my duplicated elements. These guidelines will help you to align your selection. I will move out the rollover area to edit the caption from what to why. I will name this element and change the color to red. From the Word document, I copy and paste the corresponding paragraph into the caption. From the Properties panel, I will name the element and choose Adobe Red as the caption type. And again, let's reposition the rollover area on top of the word Y. Finally, let's repeat the same steps for the last rollover caption. To distribute the three white captions on the slide uh, uniformly, I will select them first, then go to the window, align, and choose distribute horizontally. All right, now let's preview the results. In this video, we have learned how to add rollover captions, how to make the rollover area transparent, how to change the default rollover caption text box properties, how to select multiple objects on a slide, how to align multiple objects on the slide, and how to transfer text from a Word document into the slide. In the next video, we will learn how to record audio to slides and slide elements. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.